Since we launched the new aerogenetics program in 2017, we've been delivering on the promise of efficiency, profitability, and sustainability. And by building our own program, we have the advantage of directing the genetic improvement and delivering information to our customers that is relevant to their operations around the world. It also gives us the ability to adjust our program based on performance data and allows us to have control over the continual genetic improvement with each generation. This allows us to target genetic improvement to our customers' individual needs. We've developed two proprietary lines, our T14 and our T15, and, and both of those lines are really focused on growth and efficiency and carcass confirmation and quality, and, and that allows us to address those different needs in different markets. The first step in um, creating these T14 genetics is the creation of an embryo. We do a lot of flush and IVF work here at the farm. Once an embryo is created, we're placing those embryos into recipient herds, both owned by ABS and, and owned by cooperator herds. The goal is, is really is, uh, you know, to raise a, a quality calf that, that we can bring in and put through performance tests. Once calves are weaned, and we're in a pretty typical production scenario for North American beef production, we'll start uh, working those cattle into the testing program in terms of getting the, the grow safe data collected, the feed efficiency data. Uh, we'll put the, the cattle through a 35-day feed efficiency test. Then somewhere around a year of age, everything's going to get an ultrasound scan for carcass quality, carcass traits, and we'll work that stuff into the evaluation so that we can make a selection decision shortly after an animal turns one year of age. All the information that we create here is funneled into that genetic evaluation and we want to make sure that everything, every piece of information is in there before we make any selection decisions. And we make sure that that happens, we make sure that we get as much complete data on animals from full contemporary groups before we run that evaluation on them. And everything is selected on a profit index here, an economic based index that, that uses uh, relative economic weightings on the traits of importance to the beef supply chain today. There is a, a genomic component to our genetic evaluation. All the animals that come through our program will receive uh, a genomic analysis. We still want to make sure that we make animals that are, that are functional, skeletally, uh, sound, moving, functional reproductively. Then once we kind of clear all those thresholds for physical traits, we then go in and, and make our selections based on the index level of the, the individuals within the pool that's left. So once a bull leaves this facility, typically he, uh, if he's going to stud, he's headed directly down to uh, Decora, to the ABS arrival facility. He's going to spend about 60 days there before moving to a production stall. And it typically takes two weeks to a month to get a bull kind of acclimated to the production stalls and being able to begin production. And then we freeze in the neighborhood of 3,000 units for, for testing here in the U.S. And depending on how that bull ranks across some of our different custom indexes, we may collect units to be tested in other markets. Once we've done that, those bulls then basically go sit on the shelf for a while until we get a proof back that says this is, this is a bull that, that's going to work for our customers. And as soon as we have that information back, then we can pull the trigger um, and, and put that bull back on production full scale for commercial product. We have delivered profitable genetics to our customers through intensive selection for elite beef genetics from our Nucleus programs. We've then delivered the right genetics into the appropriate customer programs all around the world using our proprietary indexes. And then we've measured and validated the performance of these genetics in each of the customer systems. As we look to the future, we are exploring ways to ensure that our customers can continue to produce beef efficiently, profitably, and sustainably. Thank you.